Okay, permutations, or how many ways are there to pick k out of n elements when the order matters? So suppose we have these seven circles again, but this time we want to pick three out of these seven, three objects, and we want to um, put them in the three bins, and we care about the order in which the, they fall in the bin. Okay, so it's really very much a repetition of what we did for the factorial. For the first one, we have seven possibilities. Let's say we put this. For the second one, we have six. And for the third one, we have five. Okay, so the total that we have in this case is seven times six times five which is good enough, but there is a nice way to write it using the factorial. What we do is, in order to write 7, 6, 5 times 6 times 5 using the factorial, we expand 7 times 6 times 5 all the way down to 1. So that's 7 factorial up here. And then, in order to get rid of these numbers here that we tacked on, we just divide by 4 factorial. Okay? So we get this expression, 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 3 factorial. And in general this is called the permutation function, and the permutation function for k out of n objects is n factorial divided by n minus k factorial.